very good morning my dear students today we are going to see the topic oxidation number oxidation number in the first lesson chemical calculation right okay what is oxidation number it is a small definition the residual charge which its atom has or appears to have when all other atoms from the molecule are removed as ions for example for example sodium chloride sodium chloride the total charge is zero suppose we are going to find the sodium metal charge alone in sodium chloride crystal sodium chloride salt sodium metal charge alone if you are going to find means another element chlorine charge you should know then only we can find the sodium charge chloride charge minus 1 minus 1 so total equal to zero so now you can say this which number is added with the minus 1 it becomes zero plus 1 so sodium charge is plus 1 the charge valency oxidation number this term are used are used and giving the same meaning charge valency oxidation number of any element are giving the same meaning so one more definition the imaginary charge left on the atom when all other atoms of the compound have been removed in their usual oxidation states i say again imaginary charge left on the atom when all other atoms of the compound have been removed in their usual oxidation states so out of these two definition any one we can write this for definition of oxidation number now here i have given some elements oxidation state some of the elements are having two oxidation state and some of the elements are having four type of oxidation states and some of the elements are having three oxidation state some of the elements are having multiple many oxidation state okay what are the variation of oxidation state of elements for example the first one iron iron has two oxidation state plus 2 and plus 3 if you are using plus 2 means the name ferrous we should say suppose plus 3 if you are using ferric you should say according to the oxidation state the name you should utilized so just you should compare the which one has highest oxidation state highest oxidation state ferric lowest oxidation state ferrous another an example copper has two oxidation state one is plus 1 another one is plus 2 here highest plus 2 so cupric we should say 
then plus one lowest oxygen state cuprous you should use cuprous likewise hydrogen plus one and minus one here minus one charge oxidation number hydrogen is having so minus one the negative oxidation state mostly it will come in the next element the first element mostly positive second element may be negative so just now we have seen one example sodium chloride sodium is positive first element next element chloride will be negative negative okay here the hydrochloric acid h plus cl minus so hydrogen carries plus one here so in this hydrogen chloride hydrogen charge is plus one sodium hydride sodium hydride NaH we are using NaH so Na carries plus one H carries minus one so from that I have given hydrogen carries two types of oxidation number one is plus one another one is minus one likewise oxygen oxygen minus two minus one plus one plus two the variety of oxidation states oxygen is having the mostly common oxidation state of oxygen minus two minus two the next slide and the coming slide we can see wherever oxygen minus one and plus one plus two we will see the examples next the fifth one molecule chlorine and hydrogen then noble gases helium neon argon krypton xenon and sulfur eight allotropic these are all having zero oxidation state so diatomic molecule why it carries zero because chlorine plus one minus one total charge is zero h2 hydrogen molecule h plus one another hydrogen minus one so totally zero the helium helium neon argon krypton xenon radon these are all called as noble gases noble gases does not react with the another element because completely filled there is no charge that's why the oxidation number is zero then the sixth one sulfur sulfur has variety of oxidation state for example minus two plus four plus six minus two means second element and uh, sulfur maybe sulfuric acid the sulfur carries plus six right then seventh one manganese likewise manganese it has maximum number of oxidation state plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven okay multiple oxidation many oxidation state then osmium eighth one osmium highest oxidation state plus eight in d block elements okay ninth one fluorine fluorine always carries minus one minus one is possible okay so these are the very variety of oxidation state of elements variation of oxidation state of elements okay so important five more question now we are going to see what are the rules for assigning oxidation number what are the rules for assigning oxidation number the first one the oxidation state of a free element that is in its uncombined state is zero the free element oxidation state will be zero for example just now we have seen hydrogen molecule chlorine molecule sodium sc8 have the oxidation number of zero okay they are in free state okay next for a monoatomic ion monoatomic ion the oxidation state is equal to the net charge on the ion for example oxidation number of sodium na plus is plus one na plus is plus one the oxidation number of chlorine 
CL minus is minus 1. The first example I have given sodium chloride Na carries plus 1, Cl carries minus 1. So, totally the NaCl total charge is 0. Right? Next. The third point. The algebraic sum of oxidation state of all atoms in the molecule is equal to 0. So, any chemical compound or any chemical molecule, the total charge will be 0. While in ions, it is equal to the net charge on the ion. For example, for example, here I have mentioned three elements carrying oxidation state. Hydrogen carries plus 1, sulfur carries plus 6, oxygen carries minus 2. These three are having common oxidation state of the elements. So, regarding that, we are going to find sulfate ion. Sulfate ion. Sulfate, what is that? SO4. Total charge minus 2 is minus 2. Okay, how it comes? The sulfate ion is got from sulfuric acid sulfuric acid now the individual element carries a charge it is taken into the sulfuric acid the one hydrogen plus one here two hydrogen totally plus two isn't it likewise only one sulfur so sulfur carries plus six just you write plus six oxygen oxygen common oxidation state minus 2 here 4 oxygen so 4 into minus 2 minus 8 will come minus 8 now you add the total charge plus 2 plus 6 minus 8 so total charge is 0 total charge is 0 okay so regarding the oxidation state of the element we can find the total charge So, next fourth point hydrogen has an oxidation number of plus 1 in all its compounds, right? In all its compounds except in the metal hydride. So, metal hydride the hydrogen carries minus 1. The variation of oxidation state of the elements we have seen hydrogen has two type of oxidation state one is plus 1, another type minus 1. So, minus 1 where it is having in metal hydrides, metal hydrides. For example, for example, in hydrochloric acid, hydrogen carries plus 1, chlorine has minus 1. Here, hydrogen carries plus 1. Suppose we take the oxidation number of hydrogen in sodium hydride, sodium hydride, sodium hydride molecular formula NaH. Na carries plus 1, here hydrogen carries minus 1. So, in the fourth point, example, two examples we have seen. In hydrogen chloride, hydrogen carries plus 1. In sodium hydride, hydrogen carries minus 1. So, hydrogen has two types of oxidation state according to the chemical compound. Right? Next, point number 5. Fluorine has an oxidation state is always minus 1 in all its compounds. So, fluorine has only one oxidation state that is minus 1. Next, point number 6. The oxidation state of oxygen in most compounds is minus 2. That is why I said common oxidation state of oxygen minus 2. Exceptions are peroxide, superoxide and the compounds with the fluorine. So, according to the compounds, peroxide, superoxide and the compounds with the fluorine, the oxidation state of oxygen is changed. So, for example, for example, in water, in water formula H2O, here oxygen, oxygen charge is minus 2. Hydrogen carries plus 1. So, 2 hydrogen plus 2. 
another one is oxygen so minus 2 then only total charge will be zero in hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide what is the charge of the oxygen the oxygen charge is minus 1 how it comes because the oxygen charge we are going to find that is assumed to be x so 2 hydrogen 2 multiple with the plus 1 charge of the hydrogen then plus 2 in suffix 2 2 oxygen the oxygen charge we are going to find so we don't know assumed to be x equal to 0 so what is x what is x so x equal to minus 1 minus 1 how it comes here the 2 multiple to 1 2 so 2 will go to the right hand side minus 2 will come so 2x equal to minus 2 x equal to minus 1 in hydrogen peroxide in hydrogen peroxide x the charge of oxygen minus 1 so common oxygen state of oxidation state of oxygen minus 2 but in hydrogen peroxide is exceptional one here the oxygen state minus 1 right likewise in superoxide superoxide formula potassium oxide KO2 KO2 here oxygen charge is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 so how it become minus 1 by 2 the potassium charge is plus 1 the oxygen charge we are going to find so 2 oxygen so 2 the oxygen charge we don't know assumed to be x equal to 0 so 2x the 1 will come into the right hand side minus 1 so x equal to minus 1 by 2 so x for oxygen oxidation state then in oxygen difluoride OF2 OF2 the common name is oxygen difluoride here oxygen charge is plus 2 so how it becomes oxygen charge we are going to find assumed to be x plus 2 fluorine 2 the fluorine carries oxidation state always minus 1 just you substitute minus 1 so x equal x plus x minus 2 equal to 0 x equal to plus 2 will come so x means oxidation state of oxygen so here oxygen has four type of oxidation state minus 1 is possible that is a common oxidation state then minus 1 is possible in peroxide then minus 1 by 2 in superoxide and uh, plus 2 plus 2 in oxygen difluoride okay the point number 7 point number 7 alkali metals have an oxidation state of plus 1 alkali metals what are they lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium these are having the first group elements plus 1 alkaline earth metal earth metal oxidation state plus 2 calcium magnesium strontium these are the elements are carrying plus 2 the second group elements okay next the question calculate the oxidation state of underlined element in the following compound here carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid and dichromate ion then difluoromethane and sulfur dioxide five types of compounds i have given the underlying elements here carbon here sulfur here chromium here carbon then sulfur okay underlying element carbon so we don't know we are going to find zazine to be x okay then oxidation state we don't know that's why just you write x we are going to find x plus 2 oxygen 2 oxygen then oxygen oxidation state common oxygen state minus 2 equal to 0 so x equal to what is the value plus 4 plus 4 for carbon so in the same way next element next compound 
sulfur is element underlined element sulfur oxygen state we are going to find so two hydrogen two multiply with plus one plus one for hydrogen charge then x x means sulfur we are going to find then four four for four oxygen multiply with minus two equal to zero so two plus x minus eight equal to zero so x equal to plus six x means sulfur oxygen state plus six then similarly dichromate ion cr2 o7 total charge minus two the whole charge minus two is given so when we write in the algebraic algebraic method the minus two will come in the right hand side so nothing will be means zero we should write the charge is given means it will come in the equal to the value of the charge minus 2 so here chromium we are going to find but the suffix 2 is there so 2x then oxygen suffix 7 1 oxygen charge minus 2 equal to minus 2 so 2x minus 14 equal to minus 2 x equal to plus 6 plus 6 for chromium one chromium charge is plus 6 okay similarly difluoromethane difluoromethane methane what's the formula ch4 the two hydrogen is replaced by two fluorine that's why difluoromethane the common name it is coming so carbon we don't know we are going to find so x plus 2 into plus 1 plus 1 for hydrogen oxidation state plus 2 into minus 1 minus 1 for fluorine equal to 0 so x equal to 0 x equal to 0 here plus 2 minus 2 both will cancel so x equal to 0 carbon charge is 0 okay the last compound sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide so sulfur we are going to find so x plus 2 oxygen 2 into minus 2 oxygen carries common oxygen state minus 2 so equal to 0 x equal to plus 4 plus 4 for sulfur oxidation state in sulfur dioxide okay so any chemical compound will be given the underlined element we can find the oxidation state okay the next one balancing the equation of redox reaction redox reaction the oxidation number method and ion electron method ion electron method another one name is the half reaction method so we have two types of method for balancing the equation one is oxidation number method another one is ion electron method ion electron method okay so both method are based on the same principle in oxidation reduction reaction the total number of electron donated by the reducing agent is equal to the total number of electron gained by the oxidation agent oxidizing agent here oxidizing agent and uh, reducing agent are given so what is redox reaction so in the name even we can find the answer reduction and uh, oxidation simultaneously simultaneously taken the reaction oxidation and uh, reduction simultaneously has to be taken in the reaction that is called redox reaction okay here here the total number of electron donated by reducing agent it is equal to the total number of electron gained by oxidizing agent just keep this point in your mind so regarding with we are going to see so before that what is oxidizing agent oxidizing agent oxidizing agent is so oxidized other reactant and reduce itself oxidizing agent means oxidized other reactant and reduce itself 
ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பொட்டாஷியம் பெருமாங்கனேட் கெமிக்கல் ஃபார்முலா கேஎம்என்ஓ ஃபோர் கேஎம்என்ஓ ஃபோர் அண்டு பொட்டாசியம் டைக்ரோமைட் கே டூ சிஆர் டூ ஓ செவன் தீஸ் டூ ஆர் கால்ட் அஸ் ஆக்சிடைசிங் ஏஜென்ட் ஆக்சிடைசிங் ஏஜென்ட் இட் ஆக்சிடைஸ்ட் அதர் ரியாக்டன் அண்ட் ரெடியூஸ் இட் செல்ஃப் ஓகே சிமிலர்லி ரெடியூசிங் ஏஜென்ட் ரெடியூசிங் ஏஜென்ட் மீன்ஸ் ரெடியூசஸ் அதர் ரியாக்டன் அண்ட் ஆக்சிடைஸ் இட்ஸ் செல்ஃப் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் லித்தியம் அலுமினியம் ஹைட்ரைட் அண்ட் சோடியம் போரோ ஹைட்ரைட் எல்ஐ ஏஎல் ஹெச் ஃபோர் என்ஏ பிஹெச் ஃபோர் ஒன் ஸ்மால் டிப்ஸ் வி கேன் ஃபைண்ட் ஈஸிலி த ஆக்சிடைசிங் ஏஜென்ட் மீன்ஸ் மேக்ஸிமம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஆக்சிஜன் வில் பி ப்ரெசன்ட் ரெடியூசிங் ஏஜென்ட் மீன்ஸ் மேக்ஸிமம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஹைட்ரஜன் வில் பி ப்ரெசன்ட் பிகாஸ் அடிஷன் ஆஃப் ஆக்சிஜன் அண்ட் அடிஷன் ஆஃப் ஹைட்ரஜன் அடிஷன் ஆஃப் ஆக்சிஜன் மீன்ஸ் ஆக்சிடேஷன் அடிஷன் ஆஃப் ஹைட்ரஜன் மீன்ஸ் ரடக்ஷன் ரைட் ஸோ வென் வி யூஸ் த ஆக்சிடைசிங் ஏஜென்ட் டு த அனதர் கெமிக்கல் காம்பவுண்ட் the oxidizing agent oxidizes the other reactant but it reduces itself okay now we see the question it is very very important five mark question balance a chemical equation by oxidation number method oxidation number method so what is a question they will provide one equation equation you have to balance the equation by oxidation number method oxidation number method okay when we see first the equation is it in is it in molecular form or ionic form this equation reactant side and the product side both are in molecular form here the underlined element manganese and iron in product side also underlined element manganese and iron that element first we should find the oxidation state the previous slide we have found how to make a oxidation number charge charge of the element manganese here plus 7 so right side plus 2 then iron left side plus 2 right side plus 3 the iron charge we see plus 2 to plus 3 oxidation number increases increases plus 2 to plus 3 that's what is called as oxidation oxidation and uh, here manganese plus 7 tends to plus 2 plus 2 7 to 2 oxidation number decreases that is reduction the first step where the oxidation and the reduction occurs you have to find okay second step second step whatever the element we found the oxidation state that element first have to be balanced here manganese only one so right side also only one then iron left side only one but right side two okay that's why left side you make two iron two fe so four okay then third step third step there after there after how many electron is transferring in manganese and iron we have to find it a seven electron here manganese oxidation state seven here manganese oxidation state two so subtraction five electron is transfer seven minus two five electron so five so near the k mono four you should write 5 electron but here iron oxidation state plus 2 then 
right side ion oxygen state plus 3 how many electron is transferring plus 2 2 plus 3 one electron is transferring so near FeSO4 you write 1 okay the next step cross multiplication the transferred electron we have to make a cross multiplication so next step will become the 1 will go here so 1 multiplied with KMNO4 KMNO4 then 5 multiplied with 2 FeSO4 so 10 FeSO4 plus H2SO4 gives K2SO4 plus MnSO4 plus Fe2SO4 thrice plus H2O okay next step next step the ion is balanced then potassium right side we see 2 K2 is here so left side only 1 so right 2 so 2, two KMNO4 then 10 FeSO4 plus H2SO4 gives K2SO4 plus MnSO4 Fe2SO4 thrice plus H2O okay until manganese manganese balanced so manganese is not balanced iron is balanced potassium is balanced the next step manganese after writing the two after writing the two manganese left side two is here so right side you make it two so manganese is balanced so still manganese balanced iron balanced potassium is balanced so next step next step sulfur 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 we see here how many sulfur one in the k2so4 one sulfur then here two sulfur so one plus two three sulfur then here uh, sulfur suffix three so three into five fifteen so fifteen plus three eighteen sulfur is there eighteen sulfur is there but here uh, ten fso4 10 sulfur is here so 8 is required so 8 h2 so4 you should write it okay sulfur even balanced then finally finally hydrogen after writing the 8 hydrogen you see 8 h2 8 h2 means 16 16 hydrogen so 16 hydrogen so here H2 is here after writing the 8 16 hydrogen will come so all elements are balancing right this method is oxidation number method okay question number second balance the equation by ion ion electron method ion electron method okay so how to find you have to use the ion electron method here single element is given with a charge f u f e plus 2 charge hydrogen plus 1 charge manganese plus 2 charge your right side ion plus 3 charge okay so by which we can find you have to use the ion electron method the manganese left side oxidation state plus 7 right side plus 2 so oxidation number decreases that's why reduction then ion Fe plus 2 right side Fe plus 3 plus 2 2 plus 3 oxidation number increases that is oxidation oxidation okay first you should write wherever oxidation wherever reduction it is occurring next step cross multiplication cross multiplication for transferring electron here manganese plus 7 to plus 2 so 5 electron is transfer so near MnO4 minus 5 electron we should write and near Fe plus 2 plus 2 to plus 3 1 electron transfer first you write below that then cross multiplication the 1 should multiply with the MnO4 minus then 5 multiply with the Fe plus 2 okay now the multiplication is the third step fourth step fourth step 
oxygen we see left side four oxygen so manganese balanced iron iron balanced then oxygen oxygen left side four oxygen right side one oxygen so right four four times two oxygen is balanced so finally hydrogen after writing the four hydrogen we see four times two eight hydrogen so left side <coughs> right eight now the electrons has to be balanced when you write the ion electron method here how many electrons m1 o4 minus the total charge minus one electron then fe plus 2 but in front of fe plus 2 5 is there so 5 into 2 10 electrons and uh, hydrogen hydrogen plus 1 front of hydrogen plus 1 8 electron is there so 8 into plus 1 8 electron then manganese 2 electron then iron 5 into 3 15 electron so left side total 17 electron right side total 17 electron so elements as well as electrons both are balanced this method is known as ion electron method okay the last sum it is evaluate yourself sum okay the balance of following equation using oxidation number method so in this question in this question the reactant arsenic sulfate is given it dissolve in nitric acid nitric acid so another one reagent is not given that's why we have to find the arsenic oxidation state and sulfur oxidation state both you have to find it okay here arsenic oxidation state plus 3 right side arsenic oxidation state plus 5 plus 5 then sulfur oxidation state here minus 2 right side plus 6 okay then high uh, nitric acid nitric acid hno3 nitrogen oxidation state plus 5 right side plus 2 okay only two reactants we have to take two reactants so one is a one is a chemical compound another one is a acid so chemical compound in which the these two element oxidation state we have to we have to add we have to add because the another one reactant will not be oxidizing agent it is acid that's why we have to use two oxidation state in the chemical compound arsenic sulfide okay in suffix arsenic 2 is here so write the 2 then then transfer electron minus 3 2 plus 5 so how many electron transfer 2 electron transfer write 2 plus sulfur in suffix how many electron 3 electron so how many sulfur 3 3 sulfur and a transferring electron minus 2 2 plus 6 so minus 2 subtraction uh, plus 6 means so minus 2 minus 6 8 electron transfer so 3 into 8 after adding this total here 4 electron plus 24 electron 28 electron the 28 electron it got from arsenic sulfide alone okay isn't it arsenic sulfide alone 28 electron okay this question is exceptional one because the next reactant it is not a oxidizing agent it is acid arsenic the arsenic sulfide dissolve in nitric acid that's why the arsenic sulfide total electron we have to calculate now the nitric acid nitric acid nitrogen oxidation state plus 5 right side nitric oxide nitric oxide nitrogen oxidation state plus 2 so plus 5 to plus 2 3 electron transfer 
ओके ना वी हव टू मेक अ क्रास् मल्टिप्लेन दट एलट्रॉन इज बिटवी ट्वेंटी एट एलट्रॉन अंड थ्री एलट्रॉन सो रईट द ईक्वेशन अगेन अंड सो बिलो द आर्सनिक सलफेट ट्वेंटी एट एलट्रॉन टोटल नंबर आफ एलट्रॉन आर्सनिक सलफेट ट्वेंटी एट एलट्रॉन नईट्रिक आसिड थ्री एलट्रॉन नौ यू कैन मेक अ क्रास् मल्टिप्लेन क्रास् मलटिप्ले मलटिप्लेन फॉर् बैलेंस इन द ईक्वेशन So we can get three Ah two S three plus twenty eight hydrogen O three plus H two O gives arsenic acid H three Ah two O four plus H two S O four plus nitric oxide nitric oxide. Okay. Now after writing cross multiplication, after writing the cross cross multiplication, uh, left side we see how many arsenic are present. Arsenic. Three As two, so six arsenic. So right side you write six. It is for arsenic. Arsenic first we have to balance it. Six arsenic. Then next uh, sulfur you see. Sulfur three into three. Three As two S three. So three into three nine. Nine sulfur. So right side you write nine. Nine H two S O four. So sulfur is balanced, arsenic is balanced. So remaining, remaining nitrogen, nitrogen we see nitrogen here twenty eight after cross multiplication twenty eight came. So right side also twenty eight. Then hydrogen, hydrogen here six H three so eighteen nine H two. Here also eighteen. Eighteen plus eighteen, thirty-six hydrogen right side. So left side here twenty-eight hydrogen. After writing the four, four goes to means eight. So twenty-eight plus eight, thirty-six. So left side hydrogen, right side hydrogens are balanced. So nitrogen balance. Finally oxygen, oxygen. So after calculating the oxygen. Oxygen twenty eight into three plus four, so eighty eight oxygen will come. The right side, right side six into four plus nine into four, then twenty eight. Totally eighty eight oxygen. Okay, left side and the right side, all elements are balanced. Okay. Finally, the redox reaction, redox reaction, are giving metal displacement reaction. Metal displacement reaction. So in a beaker, in a beaker, the metallic strip of zinc is dipped in copper sulfate. Copper sulfate color. Is blue, blue. After some times, after some times, the metallic strip of zinc turns to brown, and the copper sulfate color turns to colorless. So, what is the reason? The copper sulfate in copper sulfate, copper charge is plus two, turns to zero, and the metallic strip zinc turns to Zero to plus two, so zinc turns to zinc sulfate, copper sulfate turns to copper. Here oxidation and reduction simultaneously happen. That is called redox reaction. Example metal displacement reaction. Okay. Here the three metals are compared with each other. The zinc greater than copper. Copper is greater than silver. Why? Because zinc has more tendency to release electrons, and copper to accept the electrons. So in this equation, we can find it. Zinc tends to zinc two plus two electron is released. The releasing two electron is received by copper. Here plus two, 
plus 2 means already lost 2 electron which is received the 2 electron from the zinc and the copper turns to 0. That's why the statement is written the zinc has more tendency to release electrons and the copper to accept the electron. Okay, one more reaction. It comes under competitive electron transfer reaction. The copper strip, copper strip is dipped in silver nitrate solution. Silver nitrate solution initially colorless. After some times, after some times, the silver nitrate turns to copper nitrate solution, turns to blue, turns to blue. Okay. So what happened? Redox reaction. Copper initially zero state turns to plus two. Oxidation number increases, that is oxidation. In silver nitrate, silver carries plus one. The product side plus one turns to zero. Oxidation number decreases reduction. It indicates that between copper and silver, copper has the tendency to release the electron and the silver to accept the electron. When we compare copper and silver, copper has a tendency to release the electron, two electron is released, then silver is ready to accept the electron. Oxidation and reduction. It is in competitive electron transfer reaction. Thank you.